Welcome to step six. This is our final step where we're gonna finish the speakers. But before we get into it, I've got some news. We moved into a new garage. This is our new spot for building speakers and I'm pretty stoked. I'm gonna build so many speakers in here. So we're gonna enjoy it together and um, yeah, let's get into it. So what we're gonna do in this step is we're going to connect the speaker drivers to the cabinets. That involves connecting the terminals to the speaker drivers with a bit of solder. And it also requires us to use some screws. So we're gonna secure the speakers to the cabinets with some screws. Once we've done that, we're ready to play music. And you know what music means? Party time. Invite your grandma over, have a kick-ass party, whatever it is. Your speakers are gonna be ready for music. So what we want for this step is cardboard down. Cardboard down to protect the speakers. We don't wanna down them. We've come so far that we wanna keep them protected. We'll have your speaker drivers. So you will have four boxes. You'll have the tweeters and the woofers. You also have a paper bag with all screws in it, a stick of solder, an Allen key, and a solder iron and solder holder and safety glasses. We need to protect our eyes because we're working with hot molten solder and we don't want that stuff going in our eyes. So please wear your glasses, wear your prescription glasses, whatever it is. So when doing this step, we're gonna work with one speaker at a time. So you can see here, I've got both speakers and I've got two sets of speaker drivers. So all we need is enough to do one set of speaker at a time. So I'm gonna clear my bench down. So the first step is to take the speaker drivers out of the box. You'll notice there's two different boxes. There's a little small one and a big one. The bigger one is the woofer. The smaller one is the tweeter. So let's have a look at the smaller one first. When you take it out, you'll notice that it had a plastic protector over it. That's so that during transportation it doesn't get damaged. But it's also really handy because we can leave it on while we work with it. And then you've got the woofer, the bigger one. You'll notice it is a lot bigger than the tweeter. Much bigger. And the reason for that being is that the tweeter is a high frequency driver that only plays high frequencies, whereas the woofer plays low frequencies. So remember, low frequency is bass, like drums and things like that, whereas high frequency, it's like treble. So by having both of them together, we can have one that plays high frequency and another one that plays low frequency, giving us a speaker that plays both high and low. When looking at the tweeter, you'll notice the terminals on the back, these little metal arms that come out, and that's where the power comes in. You'll notice that one has a red line on it. The one with the red line is bigger than the other one. The reason that's the case is that the smallest one is always a negative terminal. The biggest one is always a positive terminal. That's how you can tell if you don't have a color on your speaker driver. Same applies to the woofer. You'll notice that there's a big terminal and a small terminal. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you how electricity can change the direction of where the speaker driver moves and the importance of getting the terminal connected right. So what I've got is a little battery and I've got two cables. What I'm gonna do is get the red cable and connect it to the positive terminal of the woofer, so the big one. Then I'm gonna get the black terminal, so the negative, and connect it to the negative terminal of the woofer. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna allow the battery to pass electricity through the cables. The red one's gonna to go to the positive side of the battery, the black one gonna to go to the negative side. It's moving out. So what that's telling me is that by allowing positive voltage, so a positive flow of electricity to go through, it will move out. But if I flip it, so I flip the polarity, look what happens, it goes in, going the opposite direction. If you want to do this experiment, you can, but please only do it on the woofer. You can destroy the tweeter by doing this. So don't do this to the tweeter. So the way we're going to do this step, is you're gonna work with your speaker cabinet in front of you. The way I like to do it is flip it up, so it's facing upwards. When doing this, it's really important that we get the cables in the right location. We don't wanna mix them up and put them in some random place. It is imperative that we get it right. Because remembering that the crossover has two distinct circuits for it. One is for the woofer and one is for the tweeter. And we wanna make sure the tweeter gets a tweeter circuit and the woofer gets a woofer circuit. We know this by looking at the colors of the cable. So the yellow cable is for the woofer, whereas the blue one is for the tweeter. Don't mix them up. Don't put the blue one on the woofer. Really big no-no. Let's start off by connecting the tweeter first. We'll use the blue one, so one with the blue tape on the end, and one black. And by the way, it doesn't matter what black you use, they're both going to the same location on the crossover. So get your blue and black cable and pass it through and bring it through the tweeter hole. That's really important. Because if we don't do that and we decide to hook the tweeter up like this, it's not going to connect. It's going to get stuck. So it's really important that the cable comes through first. Make sure you do that. The blue wire is going to connect to the positive terminal of the tweeter. By looking at the terminal, you'll see that 
Now the red line. The red line denotes positive. So we'll start by connecting the blue wire to the positive terminal of the tweeter. To do it, what we're going to do is twist the wire. Use your fingers, twist it together. Once you've done that, place the tweeter down into the hole of the tweeter, upside down like that, with a plastic cup on. We are now ready to solder. So remember, tin your solder iron first. Put your safety glasses on. You can see the tip quite dirty, it's, um, it's not shiny. So what we're going to do, place the solder on it, be good, and then take off and dry put it down on the cleaning pad. Now that my solder tip is clean, I'm ready to solder. Place your solder iron onto the wire, onto that bit. You want to put a bit of heat into it. One, two, three, four, five. Let it cool down and do it again. And really not much solder at all, just enough to make it secure. What you can do now, pull on it, and that is strong. So the key to doing this step is making sure you don't put too much heat into it. So really limit that and take your time. Once you've done that, you can do your black wire. So what we're gonna do, you place a black wire onto the negative terminal of your tweeter. So the first step is to make sure your wires are twisted. Once you've got your wire through the terminal, you wanna bring it back on itself and twist it around. Now we're gonna finish it off with some solder. Put your solder iron tip onto the wire. Let it soak up some heat. Don't hold it on for more than five seconds. And when, if you do, let it cool down. And what we're gonna do now is we're gonna secure the tweeter into the cabinet. To secure the tweeter down, you're gonna take your plastic cover off. And what you wanna do is you wanna line up the terminal connectors with the hole in the timber. You drop the tweeter in, making sure that the terminals are going in that location. Give it a little wiggle and it'll fall down. Perfect. What we're going to do now is secure the tweeter into a cabinet. So we're going to put four screws in and tighten them up. Get the Allen key, place it into the screw and then wind it in. Once you've secured your tweeter in, you can move on to your woofer. So same process, twist the wires. Make them really skinny, nice and thin like a thread. That's your positive, that's your negative. Then get your woofer, take the plastic cup off. Once you've done that, what you're gonna do is place it over the tweeter. You can move the box around whatever way to make it easier for you. I've got it like that, perfect. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna place the positive wire, so the yellow wire, into the positive terminal on the woofer. So that's the big terminal. That guy right there. Get your yellow cable and pass it through the hole of the terminal. Bring it back on itself. So now that my cable's in there, I'm ready to solder. Tin first. Place your solder iron onto the wire and let it melt the solder into it. And just remember, you don't need heaps of solder, just enough to give a good joint, to let electricity to flow through. And just give it a wiggle, see if it's strong or not. That is awesome. Okay, perfect. So now what I can do is I can do my black wire. Connect it to my negative terminal on the woofer. So what we're going to do is place the wire, the black wire, through the small terminal. Bring it back on itself. Just twist it together. What we're going to do now is solder the joint and make it real strong. Glasses on. So now I've soldered the joints on my woofer and I'm ready to screw it in. What you're going to do is flip it over, place it into the box. It doesn't matter what orientation you have it, you can have it any way you like. I will like to note that in some instances you might find that your woofer is not able to fit into the box. It's a tight fit or it's just the woofer is just a little bit too big. What you can do is get a bit of sandpaper, 80 grit sandpaper, and sand around in your inside lip right here. And just make it a little bit bigger so your woofer is going to fit. You don't need much. For me though, my woofer fits. It is a bit of a tight fit, but I can just push it in and it'll go in. But perfect. Now what you're going to do is get your four screws place them into the holes, and we're gonna do them up and secure the woofer. Get your screw, place it in there, wind it in by hand. Get your Allen key, place it into the screw, and wind it in. Refinish the speaker, look at that, absolutely awesome. I think they look amazing, they're really proud of them. So go through the process of finishing your speakers. What you're gonna do is follow my steps, be confident, and once you've done that, visit me on my next session where we're gonna go through the process of setting up a hi-fi system and doing a little bit of testing as that is. So see you then and good luck.